driving the 250-4 forklift. It's got a crank, no start. First thing I did was uh, loosen the bleed screw, cranked it over, nothing. This is the fuel filter inlet, cracked it open, nothing. So the injection pump is down in there. I'm gonna need to remove the battery to get at it. I'm going to check for power at the fuel shutoff solenoid first. Troubleshoot that before I rule that the injection pump is shot. So this is where I jumped ahead of myself. I pulled the connector off for the fuel shutoff solenoid and it was all corroded on the one terminal. So I grabbed some corrosion block, which is really good for cleaning and also protecting. So I sprayed it in there, cleaned her out. And now I'm thinking, man, this is gonna be an easy fix. I got it. I hooked up a multimeter to it just to make sure I'm gonna power up the forklift and I'm gonna see what's gonna happen. Turn on the power. Go back down, look, I'm good, 12 volts. Well, let's see if it'll start. So now I'm gonna say getting the fuel shut off solenoid switch out is uh, quite a daunting little task. It's pretty tight in there, I managed to pull it out inspected it now this is where i'm going to find out whether or not it works i'm going to hook up the terminal to it i'm going to power it back on and i'm going to see if the switch itself functions got it all set up here the fuel shutoff solenoid definitely works. So at this part of the game I told my boss that I figured that the injection pump could be shot so they brought in an outside contractor to have a look at it and they indeed said that the fuel injection pump is shot and probably looking at about $8,000 to fix. Half of which of that is going to be labor so they're going to be asking me if I want to change the injection pump for them.